Good morning, my gardening friends. Welcome to Tea Time Tuesday. I want to show you the progress on my little uh, raised bed gardens. I have two of them, four by eight. I'm in Wisconsin, zone five, and uh, it's hot and humid. We've been getting hot and humid weather. But I want to show you my new raised beds in the, our senior community. I'm coming from big gardens to little gardens, but I'm loving it. My green beans, which froze at one time in May, and they came back again. We uh, do have Japanese beetles now, so I'm going to be hand picking them. I use twine. We ran out of chicken wire here. They got me some chicken wire, but this is working. Oh, see, Japanese beetle damage. Oh well. I use straw as mulch. First cardboard, then straw. This here is um, from last year, so it's doing pretty good keeping the weeds down and not coming back because it's been, you know, almost a year. Sugar snap peas are coming in nicely. These are the puffy ones. Yummy. Uh, my cilantro going to seed, but it I want to attract pollinators, so this is staying in. I started some new stuff, too. I'm sorry, this morning sun is bright. It's early. My beets. I did get a, a picking, uh, a couple beets, and some Swiss chard. Not too much damage out here. Some of my peppers, but they were being shaded by the uh, garlic that was in here. So there's not too many flowers. They're starting to flower now. A little late for Wisconsin. I have some uh, Juliet tomatoes. They're kind of a cross between a Roma and a cherry. In here, oh, let's move this way, okay? I want to get on the other side. Those are my cucumbers. I have on two tomato cages, one inverted on top of the other, and then I put branches, willow branches, that I picked from the wetland area, and we'll see if it is strong enough to hold my cucumber. Everybody's garden's doing quite good this year. Uh, they're taking care of it this year. I just uh, laid some more straw and cardboard on the new path here. So I don't get dirty feet. But um, I can't do the whole garden. Over there, there's lots of weeds on the path. I just can't. That's why I moved here. Didn't need to do more work. I brought my sign with. I'm keeping the sugar snap watered, hoping that they keep producing. And I do see new flowers starting and new growth. That would be nice. I know they don't like heat. Vegetable amaranth I use for... Um, my greens, cooked greens, and some basil, parsley, borage. Next year I hope to start it early indoors. This year I didn't get the seed in till late. I had to buy some. I just started some um, large leaf basil, Italian basil, and in hopes of putting some of it in a pot and then bringing it in in October. So I have a few cucumbers on here, not many, lots of flowers, like all of you. That's what we go through for a while. My second planting of radishes. And then I have spinach, cilantro, and lettuces. And some more beets. Okay? For a later picking, hopefully. Hopefully. 
Oh, my, the last of my garlic. I have it drying down in my storage unit. But I, I'm drying it on the fence right now, the last few I pulled out of here. And then uh, I'll be bringing it in as soon as there's a forecast for rain. And I like the flowers of cilantro. I do eat them all. I do eat that in my salads. I'm going to have a lot of green beans, but I'll share. Carrots need to be thin, but I'm waiting till they get a little bigger. They're really little. And then scarlet runner bean. Again, you see it growing up the fence, and now it's onto the uh, willow. That makes me happy. I want it to look pretty. So my cucumbers are going up this part of the willow and hopefully will attach and go over and over and over and I will have hanging cucumbers. It's, I'm trying it. I have to make take advantage of all the space that I can make for myself. So there's more scarlet runner beans right here. And then there's also um, cosmos and uh, a poppy, po uh, just poppies on the other side. Now the dirt here, I did amend it a little with the vegetables, but not much. So there's a lot of clay in this native soil. So we'll see. More cilantro. And this is um, a zucchini that says it's supposed to be prolific. So we'll see. Uh, I have a couple zucchinis started here. What kind is it? Can you see here? Uh, Midnight Lightning. Summer squash, green zucchini. Now her zucchini over here, look at these huge leaves. Look. I don't know what kind that is, but it's not like mine. Looks beautiful. And she's getting some nice zucchini on there. But this is what I had space for. It, they advertised three by three uh, plants, so I didn't want to take up too much space because I got tomatoes in here too. Uh, and I've been taking the lower leaves off and I mulch with straw again hoping to keep disease away for a longer period of time it's inevitable that I I get it but I just want to slow it down so what is that tomato um, that one is brandy wine oh yeah I should know by the leaf brandy wine and then uh, Juliet again. So I have Juliet on the fence growing in clay. And then I have one Juliet growing in this nice dirt. And on the other side, I have black creme. Some, uh, I'm having trouble with earwigs. And I'm going to try the beer again. But I'm hoping that there's enough leaves on here to give me some radishes. More basil. I put some Cosmos in here. Tomatoes doing good. These are my towers I brought from my home. I might, because Juliet can get pretty tall and viney, I might be putting willow over there, over the top to the fence. Then some more cucumbers, just to see the difference between growing them in the clay soil and not too good, and then my raised bed soil. Trying to keep the lower leaves of these plants, uh, some of the leaves off, so it, I don't get disease. Then I have more green beans over here, a second planting. Some more amaranth. And some garlic chives. And I threw um, bachelor buttons in. You know me and my blue. The deer have liked some of them. On the outside of the fence, the flowers are, but not too bad. Malabar spinach.
and more green beans. This is my mini hoop house. It's only about four by four, but it has my brassicas in it. Um, it has in there uh, broccoli and Swiss chard, kale, and I keep it covered. Again, earwig damage. I do put sluggo down, but sluggo doesn't seem to take care of the earwigs. So I have a few broccoli heads. Whoa, that one can be, oh, we're gonna have that one Sunday. Ooh, that's a beauty. And then my kale. There's a little Swiss chard in here I've been picking because it's really clean. There's a few cilantro plants. And uh, the Japanese mustard is done in there. There's a little red mustard left. Lettuces. Not too bitter for me. I am... Mm, I am letting them go to seed. Again, pollinators, and I want to save seed. Uh, what else here? Oh, um, some parsley in several places. Now, this Malabar spinach is tasty and it's pretty. You see the, the reddish vine? Isn't that pretty? And it gets pretty pink flowers on it. I'll save seeds. But the spinach is um, uh, what they call spinach. This leaf of the Malabar is uh, very slimy. Mm. Especially in the older leaves. Younger leaves aren't as bad. But highly nutritious. And it takes the place of spinach, not regular spinach, not growing in the heat of summer. And we've had heat here. I'll do another planting over here of lettuce when I pull this one out. And this is a black crim. So we'll see what that tastes like. We got a tomato here. And then my outside the fence here where we laid bark make it easier to walk around and keep some of our tomato cages and bags of dirt and make it neat and clean okay I have uh, different herbs and they're doing well there's peppermint um, stinging nettle yarrow Horseradish, spearmint, lemon balm, oregano, oh, where are we here? Yeah, oregano, and then uh, some sage back behind it, and thyme, and rosemary and lavender. Over there, where you see the uh, uh, flags, I put my tomatoes that got hit with a, a freeze. But they're coming, and they're flowering, and the deer haven't eaten them. So we'll see if I have, ex I will have extra tomatoes. I know I will. I did throw some seed in here of um, mustard and dill and a few other things, just because I had the seed. So that's it, my gardening friends. Uh, this is my senior living community, where I happen to be able to garden in raised beds. And they have expanded the garden in hopes that it will draw more seniors to this community who like gardening and like nature, because most of us that have come here, there's a few hundred of us here, in different stages because this is a four-stage community uh, independent where I live and then uh, assisted living uh, a little 
They're building new, a little beyond assisted living, but not ready for nursing home. And then memory care in the nursing home. So Dave and I are gonna be here for our whole entire life and hopefully in village on the square. <laughs> Independent. So thank you for showing up and seeing my update. Uh, this is the old part of the garden and people are enjoying it. They don't get out here that often, but they do get out, so that's good. This is the new part that they're using that um, traffic bond, I think they put down, and crushed red granite. So they think that is going to keep looking good and not end up like that, the weeds. Now, if somebody helps me, uh, I would save cardboard and lay it down. But I don't know if that's going to happen, and not this year for sure. So already you can see grass coming up. And I tried pulling it, and it's like in concrete. So I don't know. What do you think? I don't want to use Roundup on it. Do you think maybe vinegar would kill it? I can try. I always have vinegar. But this is how my garden area looked where I laid the, bar the cardboard and the straw. That's what it did look like. And now it looks neat and clean. So thank you for showing up again. Take care. And let's chat. Let me know what you're doing. Bye-bye.